Hi, I'm Hazel, and Children's Week is happening now until May 7th. This is a week to spend time with the orphans of Azeroth, open your heart to the spirit of charity, and make a bunch of gold. Nothing has changed with this holiday since last year, however, this is still a golden opportunity for anybody with a mind to take it. There are 10 battle pets available during Children's Week, 8 of which you can cage and sell. Most of them are cute, some of them are useful in pet battles, and all of them are available only this one week out of the year. That means that if you like gold, it's very much worth your time to get some extras and then sit on them to sell later once they're unavailable. This video is all about how to maximize the gold return for your time. The prices have been researched using the Undermine Journal website, which is an excellent resource if you're looking for any kind of auction house data. All of the numbers mentioned here are ballparks and may vary a lot depending on your own region and server. The Wolvar Pup and the Oracle Hatchling from the Northrend branch of Children's Week are not cageable and they won't be much in this video. Once you have one of each for yourself, you're pretty much done with that part of Children's Week. The vanilla pets are Whiskers, Speedy, Scooter the Snail, and Mr. Wiggles. During the holiday, their value tends between 5 and 10k gold each, while after the holiday, once they're no longer available, that value will shoot up to between 15 and 30k ish. Each character that you have can do the basic Children's Week quest starting in Stormwind or Orgrimmar and pick one of these pets at the end. If you're stocking up to sell, and that is what this video is about, my recommendation is to get them in roughly even numbers. Battle pets tend to have a limited demand, so if you stock up on all of just the one type of battle pet, you may find that it's a very long time before you can unload them all or you can even drive the price down. You can do this set of event quests on alts as low as level 10, but it's going to be massively faster on a higher level character that has access to the highest level of flying, and even better if you're 110 and can make use of Legion Dalaran's portals. Start to finish, doing these quests on a level 110 character took me a grand total of 18 minutes, approximately 3 or so of which were spent looking for that padding toy vendor at the end. An equally viable option if you don't have 18 minutes is to buy up cheap stock of these on the auction house during the event, and then play the long game. Stick them in your bank and sit on them until the price goes back up to a level that you're happy with, and then only post one at a time. I find it takes two to six weeks or so for the prices to bounce back after the holiday ends, so chill for a month or two. The BC pets are Egbert, Peanut, Willy, and Legs. These are even cuter and more useful, so they tend to have a higher demand. During the holiday, they tend to sell in the 7 to 12k ish range, and then outside of it, they can go to 20 to 40k plus. Doing these quests on my level 110 character took me 17 minutes. Legs is definitely the most in demand pet, but again, I recommend spreading out your stock so that you don't end up stuck with a whole bunch of any given one. Again, while you can repeat these quests on alts, you don't have to do them over and over again for gold if you're not feeling it. Just keep an eye on the auction house, pick up any cheap ones, and then hold on to them for a while and play the long game. It might be a long game, it's one of those things where there's a lot of calendar time involved, but the actual invested time spent thinking and clicking buttons, not so much. Something else to mention is that all of these pets are learned at green or uncommon quality. You can get even more gold for these pets by upgrading them if you have the extra stones or pet charms to do so. Also, if you have a bunch of extra unused battle stones that you want to get value out of, you can just buy pets, upgrade them, and then sell them back right away if you're really impatient, or again, buy them, upgrade them, and then sit on them. Exactly how well you can do out of this depends on like a bajillion things, but if you consider like a 10k average profit for a flipped pet and a 15k plus average profit for a farmed one, it's pretty good. You can very easily be looking at 50k plus gold for less than 45 minutes of work. That's not today gold, mind you, but it's still gold. You know, building an empire takes time. So that's what Children's Week is all about. Thank you so much for watching, let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.